Hi guys, so I've given you some great reasons in my previous YouTube videos for using serverless. But let me just focus on why AWS Lambda kind of sucks. And the big thing to watch out for is when you're using a database. Okay, so when your little process starts off from a cold Lambda containerized state, the first problem that you're going to have is that if you establish a connection with the, with the database, a MySQL server, that sort of back and forth connection um, establishment is going to take a second or something like this. So straight off the bat, you have a problem with your cold starts when you're talking to a database. And this is the reason why things like DynamoDB exist. Because the initial data fetch, even from S3, is so much quicker than establishing a connection to a database. Now, the next problem that you're going to have with using Lambda with databases is that, you know, AWS's own sort of best practice asks you to put your RDS in a private subnet and secure with the with security groups. The minute, forget the private subnet stuff, the minute you start uh, requiring security groups, security groups is like a CDIR, IP-based protection mechanism um, in, your, in your cloud network, if you can think of it that, like that. The minute you require security, your, your lambdas to be in security groups, that means that you need to establish your, your lambda function with to set up a new private subnets for your security group, if you haven't already. Um, and then obviously you have to um, do the tricky thing about correctly setting up the security groups. One of the security groups allows communication with the RDS, and, 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 then, and then I have this other security group that allows it to go out. So it's just, it's just a total pain. And if you get it wrong, um, which is really, really easy to do, the next thing you might run into is maybe, you know, I'm used Golang, so this is perhaps not a, a Lambda issue specifically, but you, typically a Lambda is, is like a 15 second timeout. And typically setting up timeouts with the context or connector thing in Golang is a total pain. You'll probably get it wrong and you'll get weird timeouts um, that don't reflect the real error that you're actually having a connection problem dialing out to the database. So that's it. Um, long story short, just be very wary of using databases, especially the RDS sort with, 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 with AWS Lambda. You're probably best off not, not using it, uh, Lambda that way. But if you have no choice, um, yeah, watch out for these things, guys. They're a total, total pain. Just a final thing, just look at a link in the description of a project which I've created to get around these issues. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like. Bye.